going to show you how to create your own simple custom component and then use that in a Flex application. And the way to do this in Flex 3 is actually pretty straightforward and pretty simple. I, I do it all the time and find it very useful to create your own custom components so that you end up with your own library of reusable code if you like. What I have here is a web-based in the browser Flex application. I've created a new MXML document called Simple Application and as you can see at the moment it's empty and on here on the components we have no custom components listed at the moment so the first thing I'm going to go here and do is create a couple of folders to put my components in I like to go through and just create a folder here called comp and then inside there I'm going to create another folder which I'm going to use my domain name uibuzz for uibuzz.com and then inside there we're going to go new and we're going to create a new mxml component it's going to ask some simple questions I'm going to give it a name, I'm just going to call it simple component I'm going to use it based on canvas I'm going to give it a width of 200 pixels and a height of 200 pixels and just click finish and immediately you'll notice it creates the new document for us and lists it here in the folders but also notice here under custom components now when I expand this list immediately we have our simple component so what that's saying is you know right now we can go ahead and use that so what I'm gonna do so that you can actually see what's going on here I'm actually gonna put a couple of items in there so I'm gonna go down I'm gonna drag and drop a combo box just gonna place that there make it a little wider and now I'm gonna go a little further down and I think I'm gonna put I'm going to put a text area in there as well, just underneath. Just drag and drop that, and I'm just going to expand it just there to fit. I'm going to go up, I'm going to go File and Save. And now if I go back to my simple application, you'll see that if I go back up here, under Custom Components, I can literally click and drag our newly created simple component anywhere I want into this application. So I'm just going to dock it up into the top corner there and there you go. Um, that is it. That is how you put a component in an application. What I'll do, I'll just switch over to source code so you can see what's happened here. It created a namespace for our components. You'll notice that it follows the folder structure com UI buzz and the component name. So it's actually got a pointer to the com UI buzz folder and in there the star is saying you know anything within that folder. And here you can see we have our simple component and an X and Y location and I'll just click save. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to reset the application back to the default because I want to show you how to do this with code which is the way that I find I do this most of the time so let me just quickly remove this code go back here so there you go we're back to our application again okay let's switch back to source code view here so I'm going to show you how to do this in source code. This is the way that I do it most of the time and I think it's important to do it this way just to show you so that you understand the code so at least you know what's going on. So the first thing you need to do is add, as you saw before, an XML namespace. We need to have a pointer to the location for our components. Now we can actually give them any name we want so I'm just going to call this comps and now we're just going to put in the location which is com.uibuzz dot star just a reminder that that is basically saying inside com inside UI bars access to any components that we find inside there so let's just press return hit tab now when we start typing if I start typing simple component you'll see that uh, up on the list here immediately because it knows where to find that component it says hey you know I can now do auto complete on the syntax for you so I'm just going to press return to complete that and now I'm just going to close out those tags and there you go that's our component in the application now we need to go back up here and let's just do like we did before so we'll do this by hand I'm going to give it an X location of 10 and a Y location of 10 so that's essentially moving it in 10 pixels from the left and down 10 pixels so now when we go back to design view you can see there's our component now one of the strong reasons for using components is as I say it's you know it's reusable code so let's say that we need for some reason we need to have two instances here that look the same well yes we could draw this by hand in the application and, and lay these out four times at uh, two times but you know a quicker way here 
is to just okay you know let's just take our component and, and put another instance right there on the stage now one of the reasons that this is useful is I'm going to show you if I now go back to the component file here and let's say that now you know I'm going to make this a little bit smaller here and we're going to add a button so I'm just going to put the button on there let's make that button all the way across there if I now save that when I go back to the application notice that instantly you know we've updated both of these instances so I didn't have to go in and add these buttons by hand so a real strong reason for using components is you know if you're going to use the same thing over and over again let's say for example like a form if you had a form component that you created and you wanted to use it in 10 different parts of an application create it once use it many times and then if you need to update that form you only need to update the component and it's going to update itself throughout your entire application now what we'll do next time around is we'll actually use some data from our application and pass that data into the component to populate these combo boxes and these text fields